another holiday look, but instead of Christmas, this one is geared more towards New Year's. It's pretty bold and dramatic, and I love the way it turned out. I know that this lip color isn't going to be for everyone. You can do whatever color you want, a pink, a red, a nude would look really good. I just wanted to try this one out. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed this eye, and I just used some concealer and powder. And now moving on to shadow, I'm using this Inglot Customizable Palette. Um, I pulled these two shades out earlier. I think they were 387 and 376. They're just a matte light gray and dark gray. You could also use the Naked Smoky Palette or any matte light and dark gray you have. I just haven't used this palette in a while. And I'm just going to start with this light gray and a fluffy brush. I think I got this one at like Target or something. And I'm just going to place that into the crease. kind of blend it up towards the tail of your brow. Then I'm going in with a smaller fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E25 in that darker gray. And I'm going to place that in the crease as well. And then kind of bring it down into the outer corner. And the thing about smoky eyes is they're all about blending. Every smoky eye has an ugly phase where it just doesn't look like it's going to turn out well. But if you just stick with it, keep blending, keep blending your colors, it will eventually come out. So just keep working on it and don't get frustrated. I'm going to go into my Naked Smoky palette and I'm going to be using Black Market. Any black shade you have will do. And I'm just going to place that more in the outer V area just to deepen it up a little bit more and make it more smoky. Let's just kind of place it and I'm using the um, e.l.f. contour brush. It's just a small dome shaped brush but then I'm going to go back in with that Sigma blending brush and kind of blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and just kind of blend along the edges. Then I'm going to go back in with a little more black, kind of pack that on. And again, just blend it out. Like I said, it's all about layering and blending, layering and blending. A smoky eye isn't just some black shadow thrown on your lid. It's different levels of grays or blacks and blending and applying and blending and applying. So it definitely takes a little bit of work. From that smoky palette, I'm gonna take the first shade right here called 13 to highlight under my brow. And just kind of drag it down a little bit to meet those darker colors. Okay, moving on to the lid shade. This is just a palette of a bunch of different shadows. All of these are Wet n Wild, and I'm going to be using this silver shadow up here. I don't know the name of it because they came in palette forms and I depotted them, but this is just a silver shadow. And if you've never tried Wet n Wild shadows, I have a lot of them. This is just one of my palettes with my more neutral shades, and I have one with more colors. They're pretty good pigmentation for the price. I don't even remember how much they are for a palette. But you'll see here in a second with this silver that it's pretty darn pigmented. And I have swatched before um, one of these shadows and it was identical to the MAC uh, blue-brown pigment that I have. 
So, I definitely recommend trying the Wet n Wild shadows if you have not ever tried them. So I'm just packing that on my lid to meet up to that darker color in the outer corner and then I'll go back and blend it in. Taking some more of that dark gray, I'm just going to gently blend it over so there's no harsh lines and the silver doesn't go too far. Then I'm going to take some shadow primer. This one is just from e.l.f because we're going to make this more glittery and holiday-like. I'm just going to gently pat that over where I just did that silver shadow. And I'm going to be taking the Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat and this is in the shade Put a Ring on it and it's just a silver glitter. And I found the best way to apply this is with my finger. The brush doesn't pick it up very well and you get a lot of fallout. So just pack that over everywhere you just put that silver shadow. And even with using your finger it's very glittery so you do still get some fallout but that's why I haven't done my under eye concealer yet. And again, go back in with that brush and just kind of go along the edges of like the crease to make sure that the glitter didn't get up too high. Make sure everything is nice and blended. And take a makeup wipe and you can kind of brush away, or wipe away rather, some of that glitter so that it's not under your concealer. For liner, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and this is the black shade. And I'm just going to make myself a wing, and I'm going to make a pretty dramatic wing because it's a pretty bold, dramatic look. And also with lashes, if you make a smaller wing, it kind of tends to get lost a little bit. And I'm using liquid liner, but you could also use gel. I usually use gel, but I decided I haven't used liquid in a while, so I would use the liquid, but I like the Maybelline Eye Studio for gel liner. And the thing I like about this liner is that it's matte. Um, a lot of liquid liners are really shiny and they just don't look quite right. So I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of shiny now, but as it dries, it will mattify. For lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes in the Style Iconic, and I already put the glue on them, so while that is getting tacky, I'm just going to apply some mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear, and this is in the shade NC30. And to apply this, I'm using the Sigma Precision Angled P84 brush. And I'm just going to put that everywhere that I normally conceal and highlight.
and then I'm just going to blend it in with the Real Techniques sponge. To set my concealer, I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm also going to set everywhere else that I put that concealer. And this is the Morphe M438 brush. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is in the shade 230 Natural Buff. Moving back to eyes, I'm going to take a smudge brush, this one is from e.l.f., and I'm going to start with that dark gray color and I'm just going to smudge that all along the lower lash line and bring it down kind of far because I want this to be pretty smoky and dramatic. Then go back in with some of that black from the smoky palette and smudge that along the entire lash line but kind of keep it higher and closer to the lash line. Okay, then I'm going to take a smaller brush and this is the Sigma E05 liner brush. Just a really small brush like that. And I'm going to take those same colors and I am going to continue it along my tear duct. Kind of like that, if that makes sense. And this is just going to give your eyes a different kind of shape and make it a lot more dramatic for the holiday. Then I'm going to go back in with the NYX liner and just continue my liner from my upper lash line. And just be really careful not to do a whole lot while this is drying because I've blinked and moved before and smudged it, so just kind of let it dry. Okay, while that finishes drying, I'm going to line my eyes with a black pencil, and this is Black Market from Urban Decay. Then to make this even more sparkly and dramatic, I'm going to add a white glitter. You could use silver too. Um, this is from Hard Candy and it's called Walk the Line. And I'm just going to apply that between the line of shadow and the line of liner. So this is kind of like the idea of the inner corner highlight. But instead of a light shadow, we're just going to use some glitter. And this is really going to make your eyes pop. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to bronze with the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Medium.
Morphe 9B palette and I think I think I'm going to try this middle pink shade right here. It's got some shimmer to it. And to highlight, I think I'm just going to use this white shade right here. It's another Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Moving on to lips, I'm going with a pretty bold, unusual color. I tried to get this several times at Ulta and they were always sold out, but it is one of the NYX Suede Liquid Lipsticks and it is in the shade Stone Fox and it's this really cool like gray color and I already have um, Best Damn Lip Mask on my lips. It just helps when you're wearing a liquid lipstick, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my lips. Okay, so that completes this look. I think it is really cool and bold and different for New Year's. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.